Hello and welcome to this quick tip set bit tutorial where I will show you how intent works in Android Studio. And to begin with, I have made a main activity and a second activity so that we can go from the main activity and use an intent to show the second activity. And these are the layout files that I have. So this is the main activity layout file where I have two buttons. Uh, one to go with data and one to go without data. And for those who don't know, uh, an intent is uh, like a anchor tag in uh, web development. Uh, so you can link to another page and in Android Studio language we link to another activity. But these uh, buttons, I have given them a an ID. Uh, one called with data and one called without data. So if we go to the code behind file, um, I reference them here so we can uh, make a on click listener on both buttons. And to make an intent, um, I use this variable. I just call it intent and it's uh, the type of intent. So we make a new intent and the first parameter is uh, this page uh, which is main activity so it's it's the page that you come from and the second parameter is the page that you want to go to and then we say dot class um, in this case this is the with data button so the way you put extra data um, into the to the intent is that you take this variable and you say intent put extra and then you give the extra uh, the extra information you give that a, a name and I called it extra and then you put in the value and to start the uh, the intent you say start activity and then you put the intent inside this method and then it would link to the second page which is this one um, i have a a text here where there's no um there's no text inside but we will make it programmatically um, so we need to give it an id and i just call it data so in the second activity I actually start to to make an intent uh, so we say we get intent and then we initialize this uh, and we also uh, just uh, fetch our uh, text view so that I can set uh, some text inside this data and when the page is uh, loading it's it's uh, loading on this on create method um, Already here, I want to check does this intent have any value? Uh, and we know that the name of the extra information that we are giving this page is called extra. So we take the intent and we say does it has extra called extra? And if it does, we take the the text view data um, and we set the text to whatever is inside uh, the intents where we get the string because it's a we can see on this page I, I put in a string you can also put a, an int but then you have to to say that you will get int extra and then the name but you just have to remember that this method on data, this set text, it only takes a string. Um, so if you make it a int, you have to pass it to a string anyway. But as we can see, um, if, if we don't have an extra called extra, then it would just uh, fill in the text. There is no extra data. And that's where if we click on the without data button, 
it will not send this extra uh, value as we can see here I just make the intent and then I just start it so if we try to test it out I have an emulator here where we can see we have the two buttons and if we say go with data we should get this text this is the extra data and if we go back and we say go without data then there is no extra data and that's where this else clause come in because the extra did not have any data when we click on the second button and a little extra information is that when you write intent uh, it will not be imported so it would look like this but you just click on it and you say alt enter on the keyboard and then it will automatically import intent so you can use it so but i hope uh, you enjoyed this video and like and subscribe if you like it and if you want more and have a nice day